Hi. Hi, humans. Okay, so we are getting back to the plumbing because we're not quite ready for the electrical system yet. We are 3D printing some stuff for it and yeah. um, and our, our water filter came and I want to do the plumbing stuff. So we're going to get started on that. But first, oh, my lens is so dirty. But first, the bus is an absolute disaster and we need to clean it. Let me, sh let me show you. Okay, there's Jacob, get out of the way. So, this is the bus, and it, this is mainly my fault, not my fault, but like, I had to move a bunch of stuff to be able to work in this area, and putting, we had so much stuff in this area, and that's the whole reason the whole bus was tidy. So once we had to work in here, the whole bus turned into disaster. a disaster zone. So, before we can do anything, we need to clean everything up. So let's get to work. Yes. Can I ask a favor? Oh. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Yeah. This is the part where I no longer know what to do. We're taking a pause on the cleaning to put in a piece of wood. Okay, the wheel wells are officially fully insulated. Yay! That was really fucking annoying. Um, we're just gonna finish tidying up the front right now. But Jacob did a really good job tidying up the back, so then I can start plumbing stuff again. Yay. Okay, Jacob's just finishing up a little <clears throat> bit of the tidying, but I'm just too excited. I'm gonna get going on the plumbing. I just love, I'm very excited to do the plumbing. I just, Jacob's excited about the electrical, I'm excited about the plumbing, and that works. That works for us. Um, the noise you hear right now is a dehumidifier we have running. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. Um, so the first thing I gotta do is, first thing is I'm gonna open our water drop under sink water filtration system. We're not putting it under sink, we're putting it back here. I'm gonna open this up, read all the instructions, figure it all out, and then just start plugging away. Um, if you haven't seen our first video about our plumbing, you should go check that out. Um, it's not that exciting. I haven't done that much. Yep. We're also maybe later gonna actually put 
pressure into our accumulator. Right now, we have no pressure in it, so. Okay, I'm gonna get to work now. the T connector here yep. so that it could go to one and to the other. Yep. I was thinking the top one should probably be the RO because it takes up more space and then we'll do like a little and then I'll put the this one like here. What day? Right? Yeah because then this will go like right in here and it'll go out. Sounds good. Right? Yeah. You good with that? Yeah. Okay. Love you. I love you too. Bye. Oh, I think it doesn't come with. Oh no, it does. Bye. Bye. Okay, so yes, obviously I'm gonna make like a cut this shorter. Yeah. And I'll go here. Yeah. How much further out? Obviously, this can be a different length. I can put a different one. But, like, putting it right here is. And then. Let's put the screw onto that side. What? Oh, this. So you also have to make room for that. Yeah, so it can be over here. Okay. I think. Well, no, I'm asking your opinion. That's a good spot. Um, because then the other one will come over, or I can make this one be all the way over here. Mm. That's not the worst idea. Like put it all the way over here, and then we have all this space to do the new reverse. Okay. Good job. Okay. Thanks. Very smart. I know. So, I didn't really explain when I left the other day. Like, I just kind of stopped filming because I got frustrated. I didn't actually get frustrated. I was, like, disappointed because we got our water filter and I very s sillily, I, very, I was very silly to just assume that I could just install it. But obviously, I can't just install it because it's PEX pipe to regular stuff. So, I needed to go just get adapters and it was too late in the day to do that. So... Sorry, I'm oh, ADHD. I get distracted by literally everything. So today we went to Lowe's before coming to the bus and we got the adapters we need. We bought definitely more than we need of each kind because I think we're going to need it when we put in our RO filter, which has not... We haven't bought that yet. Because Jacob bought one without doing like enough research because he was the one very... Um, I'm going to put you guys down. My arm hurts. Loud. Okay, so Jacob was the one very like deter passionate about which filter we got. I wasn't a big fan of the RO filter just because it was wastewater, but Jacob was like, no, it is the best type of water filter. We're going to get that for our drinking water. I said, okay, fine. Whatever. Compromise. Compromise. But we got just a regular sediment filter from Water Drop for our like shower and our sink. So I have the adapters for that. But when Jacob, so because Jacob was the one who was like very much so like we need the RO filter, reverse osmosis, I said, okay, then you have to pick it out because I really don't care. Um, So he picked it out, but he didn't do enough research because he was just, and after we got it, he did more research. Like he paid, he, we got it. And then after the top, like uh 
after the like return window had passed he learned that the one he got wasn't actually that great and the like wastewater to drinkable water ratio was like really high and I was like seriously dude so now he's gonna try and sell that and we're waiting for the one we want to go back in stock if that one doesn't go back in stock in a reasonable amount of time, I, we will just find a different one we want. But we are also, I just told Jacob about UV water filters and then now he he's thinking about that. Like he, I'm letting him take a little bit of, con, not a little bit. I'm letting him be in control of that because he was the one who was very passionate about the RO filter. And I was just like, can't we just get like a regular filter? Isn't that going to be fine? And he was like, no. And I was like, okay, you are the biology man. You do it. But. So we're only going to be putting in one for right now, but it's, that's fine. We were also at Lowe's trying to find just a mixer valve sold separately. Because we have, wait, let me go get it. Oh, I'm doing so much chit chat. <laughs> so we bought everything for our um, shower off eBay because it saved so much money. We went with Moen and if we had bought everything from Moen's website, it would have been like over a thousand dollars. And so far we have bought everything from eBay and it's just over $200. So, but that means we have to kind of piece everything together, but I got everything in the same color, but I bought the like, handle thingy and the trim and it looks super nice and it's gonna be great but it didn't come with the mixer valve so that means I need to buy the mixer valve separately and we couldn't find it at, at Lowe's like, I don't even know what this is um so now I gotta do more research and figure out where I can buy a mixer valve separately the only ones we could find were in kits like with the shower and the bathtub thing and whatever and that's not what we need um but i'm very excited about our shower because it's all brushed gold and it's gonna look so pretty but now i'm also in the conundrum of i want like a gray blue tile but tile's expensive and i can't find any gray blue tile the shade i want in like second hand because i think the gray blue with the gold would just look so pretty <laughs> I could just buy white subway tile, it'll be cheap, but I just, I want what I want. But I also want to stay in budget and not spend a lot of money, so I'm very conflicted. But the white subway tile is just so boring. And like everywhere else in the bus is going to be so fun. I want the bathroom to be fun too. So I'm conflicted. So if anyone knows where to get like second hand tiles for cheap or just cheap first hand tiles, any like just cheap tiles, that'd be great. Because I found like... We have found great options for almost everything that we've needed that we want to buy secondhand off either Facebook Marketplace or eBay, but I can't find good tiles. Like, I've found plenty of white subway tiles off Facebook on Facebook Marketplace, but I want to be a little bit more fun in the bathroom than that. I'm conflicted. Conflicted. Um. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking now. I'm very chatty today. I don't know why I took my meds for my ADHD and I'm still very yay. It's because I had a lot of coffee this morning. It's definitely the coffee. Anyway, sorry if I'm boring you. Let's get to work on the plumbing. I gotta attach the water filter and keep piecing things together. So let's get to work.
when we were at Lowe's we should have picked up another piece of treated pressure treated wood for this but we forgot and we had scrap wood so we didn't scrap wood whatever so put this on we got our what is it called water filter jacob put all the like teflon tape i completely forgot about that stuff so jacob did that so next we're moving on to water filter stuff water heater water heater stuff this is the water filter we're doing water heater stuff which means i start getting to use the red pax pipe Woo so excited let's get to work woot woot <laughs> I'm trying to mount the uh, water heater and I just texted Jacob to come help me. He's been working on 3D printing some pieces for our electrical system, like the little homes for the fuses. Um, he's having a low dopamine day, so he's doing an inside task. I have a lot of dopamine today, so I'm doing an outside task. Now we just gotta wait for Jacob. <laughs> Yesterday I ended up messing up a little bit. I um right right here I had an adapter and I accidentally crimped it wrong and we don't own the like crimp removing tool but Jacob spent and the tool's like thirty dollars and Jacob spent thirty minutes removing it so that we could save $30, which, and I promised him I will try my best not to do anything like that again. So, we're just gonna get back to work. He's also picking up more crimps right now, um, cause I'm, I only have two left. So, he's picking up more crimps. I'm gonna get back to work. I'm just gonna bust this puppy out. Jacob should be here soon. I called him because I realized I needed more stuff and he had just walked out of Lowe's so he walked right back in to get me a couple more things. <laughs> I realized I need more, at least one more T-connector and more elbows because I only have three more elbow connectors. And uh, so we have the check valve in this type where you don't need the crimps. And before I realized that we were doing the type with the crimp, I bought this T-connector and I was like, I already paid for it. I'm not gonna go deal with the, um, <clears throat> returning it didn't, didn't didn't feel like dealing with it um so we're just all the same but the pex has like two ways you can do it i don't know if i talked about this in the last plumbing video but i can't hear myself talk because of my music adhd things um so basically you can buy these which you don't need any crimps or extra tools for but these are like really expensive per connector or you can buy the like connectors that need crimping that are like have like this end but you need to buy a special tool and crimps so it's like that is kind of expensive so the crimps aren't expensive but the tool is so it's kind of like where you want to spend your money and we opted for the crimping because then like We, like, we always have the tool and we can always, like, fix... We f I thought it would be a little bit easier to fix things. I'm not totally sure if I'm right or not, but that's what we went with. But I'm gonna get back to work now because Jacob should only be a few more minutes. <laughs> Jesus. 
I had some goodies for you. You scared me. It's okay. Okay, good. You didn't buy the expensive ones. <laughs> yeah, I realized that. Thanks. Sorry, I was reading all of this stuff. That's fine. So I, I just... bought you two things of crimps because I thought, why not? Dink, 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 you, dink, you. I'm going to go inside for a little bit and then I'll come out to see if you need help with anything. Okay. Jacob is here now. And hi, I'm here. <laughs> oh, no. oh. It's okay. I think you just telling them that you're here is enough. Just creepily look through here. Okay. Um, so we've gotten to a point where like the wall is ended and now we have to break into it. We don't we're gonna screw a hole into it. Cut a hole into it. Yeah. Um, so that it can go that way to the bathroom and stuff. Yeah. But I need Jacob's opinion to make sure I, he agrees with me. Because, you know, we, we make decisions together on this bus. Yeah. Well, then it's not anyone's fault. <laughs> it's both of our faults if something goes, it goes wrong. What's the word for that? There's a word for that. Doesn't matter. I don't know. Um, okay, so do you see what I did? Yeah. Okay, so this is the inlet. And these are the outputs. No, no, no. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is the cold water. Yep. This is the cold water inlet to the hot water tank. And I've split it so that this one, there's one for the shower and one for the sink or whichever one we want it to uh -huh. be. And then this is the ho out hot water outlet, one for the sink, one for the shower. Mm -hmm. And I was planning on keeping the, wa the water underneath this. Mm -hmm. And then the wires... Because the gas tank is open, <laughs> and then you want because you want your wires up here. Yeah. And uh, we'll put the wall down here. Yeah. Okay, so we need to drill a hole like right here. <laughs> So I turned off the camera for a little bit because I was trying to do stuff in a really small space and there was no point in even trying to get an angle in. Um, some of the neighbor kids came over to Jacob's, the kids in Jacob's neighborhood. Oh my god. The kids in, a couple, a few, three of the kids in Jacob's neighborhood came over to see the progress because they've been on winter break so they haven't been here. But this is what we got. So... Did all of that and then we drilled holes, right? I think I filmed that. We drilled the holes and then everything coming out here. And I ran out of elbow brackets, elbow connectors. So that is where we are calling it. Um, yeah, so we're just getting, okay, that's a terrible angle of, or lighting. Okay, so yeah, we've just been this week getting back to our plumbing system. Uh, we're gonna keep plugging along at this. Next week's video might also be the plumbing system. Not totally sure it might be the electrical. Jacob's itching to get back to the electrical, even though we've literally only taken a few days off, but I was itching to get back to the plumbing, so <laughs> compromise. Um, so that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Um, I'll have everything that we used link in, linked in the description below if you want to check it out. Um, you can also check out our other social medias, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!